Matthew 17, verse 1. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. When the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were greatly afraid. But Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and do not be afraid. When they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. Now as they came down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, saying, Tell the vision to no one until the Son of Man is risen from the dead. His disciples asked him, saying, Why then do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Jesus answered and said to them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first and will restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah has come already, and they did not know him, but did to him whatever they wished. Likewise, the Son of Man is also about to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that Jesus spoke to them of John the Baptist. Verse 14, A boy is healed. And when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, to Jesus, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. For he is an epileptic and suffers severely. For he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to, our, to your disciples, but they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring, me, bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Verse 22, Jesus again predicts his death and resurrection. Now while they were staying in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men. And they will kill him, and the third day he will be raised up. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. Verse 24, Peter and his master pay their taxes. When they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? Peter said, Yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? Peter said to Jesus, From strangers. Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them. 
for me and you.